Hello, Pain-Free for Life members, and welcome to another Monday 10-Minute Training. Today, I'd like to talk about how to enhance circulation, blood circulation, using microcurrent therapy. And I'm also going to talk about PEMFs and scalar and kind of how they all stack up. So, blood is life. Good circulation means positive health, enhanced immunity, uh, an ability to heal on a cellular level, even better vision, and an overall longer life. Yet, so many of us suffer from poor circulation. Part of the issue here is that it appears to be a natural consequence of aging, if you believe in that stuff. As we age, our circulation will prioritize our core to preserve life, and this will leave our extremities in the dust. Disease does the same thing. It causes our body to enter survival mode and reprioritize the body. Think about it, right? If you only had so much electricity in your house, you could only run a few things, and you had to choose between running your heat, your refrigeration for your food, your lights, your television, your computers, and more, but you only had enough electricity to run one or two of those things, then you're going to pick those more essential things to survival. Especially if you live in a cold climate, you're going to pick heating. Heating is key. Refrigeration so that your food doesn't spoil might be key. And these are going to take precedence over lights, television, your cell phone. This is the same choice that our bodies make when they're in fight or flight mode. Air so that we live and breathe and core organ function are better choices than keeping our fingers and our toes warm or or sending blood up to the eyes when the eyes are working just fine. So we adapt, right? We change. Our bodies transform and they reprioritize. And over time, this poor circulation gets worse and worse and the body begins to struggle to heal. Wounds heal slower or stop healing altogether. Cells stop regenerating. Eyesight falters and eye disease takes hold. You may get your age-related macular degeneration or or other things as well. These things are dubbed natural consequences of aging or disease. They are something that is supposed to be unavoidable and unfixable. We are doomed to deal with these things in an ongoing capacity. Now, in these cases, We look to microcurrent, to PEMFs, even to scalar to enhance circulation within the body. And this is a big deal. And I will always prefer microcurrent for this, although PEMF does kind of come in as a close second. Um, In our tests, scalar was about 90 to 100% circulation increase, which is good. That's definitely great, actually. PEMF, so pulsed electromagnetic fields through our devices, about 140%. So both of these are good options. However, microcurrent directly has been shown through infrared cameras to increase circulation by between 450 and 500%. And this gap depended on modes. It depended on whether you were using pads or if you were using a Y electrode. Uh, With the pads side of things for the, the more focused stimulation, increasing it a higher amount. But microcurrent, so how how does it manage to achieve this? Microcurrent acts as a vasodilator. So it opens up the blood vessels and allows more blood to pass through them. So it increases your circulation. So new blood flow floods the area. It brings with it oxygen, which allows the cells to thrive and heal. And all of this um, oxygen will flood our systems, contributing to optimum health. We all know without oxygen, we die. It literally takes between four and six minutes of being deprived of oxygen in our lungs and our body starves and we will die. It doesn't take long at all. The good news is, is that for most of us microcurrent users, we are already passively benefiting from this. All true microcurrent. Every single mode in your devices will open up circulation within the body to a specific degree. Some frequencies just do it better than others. So it wouldn't be a 10-minute microcurrent training if I didn't tell you exactly how to do it, right? So let's look at the protocol. So first, if you are able, we do recommend you start taking nitric oxide. 
I have included a link to our spray version of nitric oxide in the video description. This is uptaken immediately, which means because it's not going into the digestive system, being broken up and then entering your bloodstream that way in whatever amount survives the stomach, it goes under the tongue sublingually and it's absorbed into the body immediately. So you get the benefit from the nitric oxide within minutes instead of hours and you don't lose any in the dosage. So we highly recommend if you have circulation issues or if you're trying to heal a wound or if you just have health problems in general that you start taking nitric oxide daily for optimum circulatory health, okay? So again, the link to that is in the description of the video. Secondly, onto the microcurrent. So with the nitric oxide in the body, that's gonna start helping things naturally as well. But the next thing you need to do is you need to determine whether the circulation issue that you're experiencing is poor, is um, specific to a certain area or if it is body-wide. So if you're struggling with non-healing wounds, for example, like little ulcers on one foot, but then your other foot and your hands are fine, or you have a singular hand that's cold or just a couple of fingers that are cold or just eye problems, but no cold hands or feet, no other issues showing up, then your issue is likely localized. This means that if you have um, these things, you're more likely not looking at a systemic issue. If you're if you're dealing with you know non-healing wounds in multiple areas, both your hands and feet are cold. You have cold feet and you also have poor vision. Then you're dealing with a systemic problem instead of a localized problem. So there's two different ways to approach this. For localized issues, you want to place conductive pads around the area uh, within a few inches of one another. Or if you're talking with your eyes, you don't use conductive pads there, you want to use the microcurrent goggles. So for example, a hand that is cold would benefit from a pad on the palm of the hand and one a few inches away down on the inner wrist, okay? You want to set your device to a mode that is optimized for circulation, though it doesn't really matter what mode, there will be circulation enhancement in there. But in this order, number one, vaso, number two, fMRSI, or number three, blue stimulation, use those depending on what you have available to you and run the mode for 15 to 20 minutes a day. If you are working on eye conditions, ignore what I just said and use the specific protocols for each eye condition. And this is this just because eyes often respond best to limited frequency, short treatments, okay? So you wanna kind of look at that. If you're dealing with a systemic problem, something that is throughout your whole body, we still recommend doing the localized treatments in the areas that are worse. So if you're dealing with a systemic issue, but you had a diabetic foot ulcer, for example, definitely continue to treat the foot ulcer area specifically. But remember that you can do these other treatments um, on a systemic level using things like the mitochondrial recharge kit. So doing mitochondrial recharge uses blue stimulate. It takes between 15 to 30 minutes. It boosts energy and passively boosts circulation as well. If you are really struggling with circulation, you can replace blue stimulation here if you have access to it with either FMRSI or Vaso. But if you do Vaso, make sure you only do 10 minutes. And if you do replace any of these, replace the blue stimulate with either FMRSI or with Vaso, please just do a one treatment a day. Vaso in particular is a very powerful program. You don't want to overdo it. There's no need to do it multiple times. I know some people with mitochondrial recharge love to do two or three recharges a day because they love how it makes them feel. If you're doing it for circulation with the specific circulation mode like Vaso, just keep it to 10 minutes once a day. So when these things are worked on with microcurrent, we do tend to see excellent results. However, there is a place for PEMF as well. Our Chi Wave PEMF mats can be used for longer and in addition to direct microcurrent. So you could do your direct treatment and then you could go with the Chi Wave pad. You just want to place the pad wherever you want to use it and use the same modes as mentioned above at a maximum level of power. Now, again, this can be done for a longer period of time. You may want to do the direct microcurrent treatment and then rest the pad on, rest the pad on your feet and or rest your feet on the pad and just run it for a couple of hours. Just allow that treatment to continue through there. 
uh, that will help to enhance your circulation. Again, it's about 140%, but it's not up to the 450 of the microcurrent. Uh, someone asking, can I do vaso and blue stem? Sure, if you have a lot of circulation problems and you're already doing blue stem for mitochondrial recharge, you could probably do 10 minutes of vaso as well. Um, that's That should be just fine. Um, and if you have a pinnacle or you have a pro sport, you have access to that vaso mode. Um, so yeah, good, good question there. Okay. So that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this 10 minute training and you found it a useful addition to your training repertoire. Um, if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I always try to answer all of them. And if I don't make sure you tag me in them. Sometimes we just don't see them in there. Um, if you found the video helpful, if you like to drop a like on the video, this does keep it at the top of the page for more people to see. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, remember, leave those comments below. Um, and uh, I will see you next week for another Monday 10-minute training.